You're watching WMAR 2 News. Hi, I'm Ashley James with this WMAR 2 News update. Police in Baltimore County are investigating the death of a woman at a hotel in Pikesville. Around 7 o'clock Sunday morning, police got a call about a woman's body in a second floor hallway of the Howard Johnson Hotel on Reisterstown Road. Investigators have not said how she died, only that she had trauma to her body. The woman's name has not yet been released. And police are still looking for a driver who hit and killed a man early Saturday in southeast Baltimore. This happened just before 630 Saturday morning on Hollibird Avenue. The victim died at the scene. Witnesses told police they saw a black SUV leave the location, but that vehicle has not been found. And while Baltimore County schools remain closed due to the ransomware attack, several other school systems in Maryland are heading back to virtual learning. Now, this is all because of concerns about the coronavirus spreading after many people were visiting family and had traveled for the Thanksgiving holiday. Baltimore City Public Schools will do virtual learning this week starting today. Schools will head back to the classroom and meal sites will be open next Monday. Catholic schools in our area will be switching to virtual learning for the first three days of this week and then return on Thursday. Anne Arundel, Carroll and Harford counties already moved back to virtual learning. Howard County will stay virtual through at least April. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday. On this Monday, we are tracking a powerful storm system that's going to be bringing us plenty of rain, severe weather as well as we go into the afternoon. That potential is there as we will get in that warm sector. And also, we are going to be tracking on the backside uh, the potential for some snow as we do have some severe weather coming in this afternoon. The storm prediction does have... The Storm Prediction Center does have us in a slight risk and a marginal risk. The biggest threats will be damaging gusty winds, but also can't rule out an isolated tornado as we head towards the afternoon as well. So we definitely need to stay weather aware, keep our eye to the sky. Before it's all said and done, we could receive up to about two to two and a half inches of rain for today. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s, and then temperatures will be much cooler as we head towards Tuesday, but the winds still stick around. Ashley, over to you. All right, thanks, Lynette. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.